Hello, this is a video to show you how to do APA style in-text citation and create a reference page when you're trying to cite a website that has a human author listed. So we're going to start in a Google Doc that is, has a template for the reference page. And again, these are for sources uh, that are websites that have a human author listed. So let's go look at a website that I've already chosen. I'm on my iPad, so I'm going to press the home button twice and I'm gonna click over in Safari where my article is. And you notice that this article is published by Live Science. We can see that in the upper left-hand corner. The title of the article is Eight Crazy Facts About Octopuses. Okay, so I'm gonna scroll down and there's a really cool portion here that talks about how octopuses use tools and how there are very few animals in the world that can use tools, but octopuses are one of them. So I wanna use this information in my writing, let's say. So I'm gonna hit the home button twice or I just hit it once, but if I hit it twice, I can go back to my Google Doc, and I'm gonna use this template uh, to create my reference page and do my in-text citation. Because reference pages um, are located at the bottom of your writing, what I wanna do is I wanna click return a few times to move the reference page template down, and so I can uh, create my writing right above it. So I've already copied or actually cut um, a sentence Octopuses are intelligent enough to use tools. Now, it's a very short sentence, but it's still a really important sentence. They're smart enough or intelligent enough to use tools. So I need to give credit to the source of this website or the author of this website where I got this information from. So the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to create a reference page first. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit to my template here, and this is the template I'm going to use to make a reference page uh, for a website that has a human author listed. So I'm going to highlight the last word or select the last word of my template and then highlight the entire template, and I'm going to copy this, and then I'm going to hit enter a couple times, and then I'm going to paste in this template. And the reason for this is I will fill in or erase part of a template and fill it in um, while I can still look at the original template. So let's go back to the article. Well, first of all, the first thing that I need is the last name of the author, as you can see here. So I need the last name of the author. So I'm going to hit the home button twice and go back to the article. And I'm going to scroll up to the top of the article because the author's name is typically at the at the top of the article. And I can see it right here that it says eight crazy facts about octopuses by Megan Gannon, kind of like the, the villain from Zelda, last name Gannon, first name Megan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the home button twice and I'm going to go back to my Google Doc. And so I need to replace the last name here with the last name of the author. So the last name of the author, if you remember, is Gannon, G-A-N-N-O-N. -N. And so that was the last name, comma, and the author's first name was Megan. And so therefore her first initial is M. So we got really lucky there because the M was already there, but now I have the author's name, Gannon, comma, M, period. If there were more authors, I would uh, put a comma in here and then follow the same pattern, put the last name, comma, first initial, period. Um, and I would put the and symbol before the last author's name. But we only have one author, so we're good to go. Next, we're going to need the year, month, and date of publication. So I'm going to hit the home button twice and go back to Safari. And right here, I can see uh, the date of publication. So I'm going to highlight the date. Oops, I highlighted a little too much. And I'm going to hit copy. I'm going to hit the home button twice, go back to Google Docs. And I'm going to just... I'm going to be a little lazy and select the entire date inside the template, and then I'm going to hit paste. And I'm going to paste in the date from uh, Safari or from the source. Notice that it's not quite in the correct format. Uh, the correct format, the year must go before the month and the date. So I'm just going to delete the date or the year, put my cursor before the month, and type 2013, comma, space, December 13th. So now I have the date. I have the author's last name, Gannon, the first initial, M, for Megan, the year of publication, in parentheses, 2013, comma, then the month and the date, December 13th. Next, I need the title of the page. So I'm going to hit the home button twice, go back to Safari, and right here, I can see the title of the page. Oops. I don't know why it jumped on me like that, but that's okay. I'm going to highlight the title. I'm going to hit copy. I'm going to double click on the home button, go back to my Google Doc, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select, oh, I don't know why I didn't select it there when it came up, I'm going to select the title, 
And then I'm gonna paste in the title. And notice that it pastes in the title in the same format, italicized. And we need the title of the page italicized. And notice that when I copy and paste that way, when I highlight the, the template and then paste in the title, that it's the same size font as the other font in the, in the template, which is awesome. That's what we need. Okay, next, we need the site name. We need to know the organization responsible for publishing this information. So I'm going to double click on the home button. I'm going to go back to Safari. And if I scroll to the top, I see that the name of the, the website is Live Science. Sorry, it keeps jumping around on me. Live Science. And if I scroll all the way to the bottom of the page, it's going to take a minute to load. Um, you'll see that Live Science, I don't know if it's actually going to load. Let me try to close this video. There we go. You can see in the bottom left-hand corner, Live Science, uh, it's not going to let me highlight, is two words, capital L, capital S. So I'm going to double click on the home button, go back to my docs, and it closed my docs because it's an iPad and iPads don't always work all the time, right? But luckily, um, the first doc here is the doc that I was just working on. So the site name is called Live Science, so I just need to get my cursor back on my document. And I'm going to type in here, live, capital S-C-I-E-N-C-E, -E. okay, live science. And I'm realizing something right now that I, that I forgot to say is that only the first word, <clears throat> excuse me, of the title should be capitalized. So what I actually have to do is I have to actually go back into this title, and it was great that I could copy and paste it, but I have to change all the capital letters into lowercase letters. All right, and I know that's a little time consuming, but it's, and it's really strange. APA format, we only title or only capitalize the first word of the title and any proper nouns. So it should look like this. Oh, sorry. Eight crazy facts about octopuses, um, and only the first word of the title is capitalized. And since we have the number eight, that takes the capitalization. So we have eight crazy facts about octopuses. Live Science is the site name. And lastly, we need the URL. So I'm going to double click on the home button. I'm going to go back to Safari. I'm going to click at the top of the screen and highlight the URL. I'm going to press the copy icon in my keyboard. Um, you can also just hold down your finger and press copy. Um, but next to the scissors in, on my keyboard at the upper left hand corner is a copy button. So I'm going to press that copy button, hit the home button twice go back to my Google Doc and it closed out the Google Doc again. That's okay. I'll open it up again. All right. And now I need to replace the word URL. Oh, shoot. And it didn't copy it. So I need to hit the home button, go back to Safari, copy it. It did copy it. But when Google Docs closes like that, I lose it. I lose my clipboard and I'm lost it again. All right. So I'm going to try to open this again. Okay, I'm going to open up the Google Doc again. Let me see if I can get a cursor here. Okay, um, so I can't paste that in, so I need to, I'm going to leave this with just a cursor. I'm really going to try to get a cursor here because this is really frustrating. There we go. So I'm going to double click on the home button, come back to Safari. I'm going to copy the URL. I'm going to go back to my Google Doc, and I'm going to highlight the word URL. In fact, I'm just going to delete it because it's three letters, and I'm going to paste in the URL. And now my reference page entry is done. Yay. Sorry for the little trouble with the URL. Sometimes on the iPad, that's what happens, right? We just have to persevere. So we persevered, and we have our reference page entry. So now I want to delete the template, so I'm going to select the word at the end of the template, and then highlight all of this stuff that I no longer want on my um, page. And so I only really needed to the front of website. I'm going to hit delete. And then I'm going to delete this example too because we don't need the example. So I'm going to try to select down here and then highlight up to example, hit delete. And so here now is my reference page entry. Now I need to enter in the word references above this. So I'm going to write the word references. I misspelled it. That's okay. I'm going to hit space and autocorrect will help me out. I need to select this word though because it shouldn't be um, underlined and it shouldn't be uh, in bold. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to remove the bold. I'm going to remove the underline and I'm going to center justify it. I center justify it with these buttons up here at the top. 
So now my reference page is done. The last thing I need to do is put in the in-text citation. So with all in-text citation, what we want to do is enter the author's last name and year of publication at the end of the sentence. So I'm going to delete the period at the end of the sentence. I'm going to put my opening parentheses, and I'm going to type the author's last name, which is Gannon. And then I'm going to have a comma, space, and then the year of publication. End parentheses, period. So notice that the author's name listed in the in-text citation in the parentheses matches the last name of the author in the reference page. Also notice that I didn't use the first initial in my in-text citation. I only used the last name of the authors. And then I list the year of publication, 2013, that matches the year of publication um, on the um, website or on, on the reference page. So this would be a really great citation. I have my in-text citation with my author's last name, the year of publication, and a complete reference page. I sure hope this helps. Um, of course, let your teacher know if you have any questions.